Okay, so I've been talking recently about types, right? And some of us have a very distinct type we're sexually attracted to, whereas some of us, it's not so specific, right? And um, I have a type. I mean, I have a type to the point it is a straight-up fetish, okay? I have it bad for Roman noses, unibrows, and skinny dudes. Combine it into one, and holy shit, I have a physiological response. I mean, not saying that's the only thing necessary. It's how it's all put together, proportion, and all that, but... I. Uh, I would say you get the idea. But someone is wanting examples, like to name, let's say, some famous people I think are devilishly sexy. Good girl, Wishbone! Good girl! Out there being a little watchdog barking. Okay. Um, famous people I think are sexy. Okay. Um... Robert De Niro, let me tell you something. Taxi driver, that was one sexy motherfucker. That man is straight up perfect. Um, let's see, uh, who else? Um, Tom Cruise, pretty good looking man, but once he started tinkering with his teeth, trying to make them look perfect and all, he lost some of his charm. But you know, nice nose, like the full brows. Now, you don't need a full-blown unibrow for me, but I do like full brows, and I like it when they're close together. Hey, sweetie. Hi. Um, Rob Zombie. Sexy, sexy man. Uh, let's see, uh, who else? Lee Rocker from, uh, Stray Cats. Check him out back in the day when he was young. Oh, boy. That is one handsome man, and his wife is a very, very lucky woman, and he's a loyal, devoted family man. So good for Lee, and good for her. Um, you know, some people ask about, like, let's say someone like Brad Pitt. I'm not attracted to him. Now, I see he's a handsome man. I get it. Um, he's certainly not an eyesore, but he's got that kind of cutesy, pretty boy thing going. I'm not really so much into that. Um, it does seem I have a preference for dark hair and eyes, but it doesn't necessarily need to be, okay? It ends up being that way a lot because, um... Some of the gentlemen out there with the prominent noses and those unibrows happen to be all of like, um, more like European and Middle Eastern descent or, you know, somewhere from the Far East, let's say, uh, because of, uh, well, they have Roman noses and they're not metrosexualized so much over there and, you know, uh, the Middle East and, um, Italy and France and Spain, um, but it's, it's, the hair doesn't have to be dark, but it is striking the dark hair against the fair skin, but I have seen men with lighter hair and eyes that were very, very attractive, you know, when that Roman nose was there and they got those little brows and, um, who else do I think is very handsome? Let's see, uh, well, some people I had big time crushes on growing up would have been like John Taylor from Duran Duran. Now, that is a good looking man. Um, let's say, um, uh, the singer from Depeche Mode. Very handsome. Very, very handsome. Um, also, uh, Echo and the Bunny Man, <laughs> singer, he's so cute. Yep, skinny dude with Roman nose. Um, who else? Who else? Um, did I mention Robert De Niro from Taxi Driver? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. That man, it went beyond his face. I mean, he is so fit. He, that, now, that is a man who has aged well, taking care of himself, even today. Like, I saw him in a video recently uh, about this um, 
latest movie and whatever. And he's a very handsome older man, let me tell you. Uh, he has a thing for black women. He really appreciates the beautiful colored skin, you know, and uh, loves, loves, loves African Americans. Uh, I, uh, I think he might be married to one. Um, so uh, he likes women of color. Uh, I can appreciate that. But it looks like I'm out. And besides, he's married, so I'm out anyway. Um, even if he were a cheater, he'd still be out because I'm not a homewrecker and I don't do married men. Let's see. Handsome men. Um. Dolph Lundgren, back in the day in the 80s, and he was kind of popular in some movies, I thought he was pretty handsome, and you know, he's got the light hair, so you know, it doesn't have to be, like, dark. Um, did I mention Rob Zombie? I think I did, didn't I? I did. I do like long hair, but um, I have found men with crew cuts also really uh, attractive. Another ha hairstyle I like is kind of like an it's an old classic cut, actually. It's timeless, but it's very goth, actually, today with long on top, short on the sides and back. It's like the opposite of a mullet. You know, a mullet's like short in front, long in back, so it's like business up front, party in the back, right? Mullets, oh, that was a style that I'm glad phased out. But I lived through the 80s, you know, I was a teenager then, and 80s were fun, and a lot of guys had mullets. That's that's what they wore. That was back in the day. And they were getting those permanents. The guys were getting permanents, making their hair curly in the back, keeping a shirt on top. That looks so stupid. I hate that. I fucking hated it. <laughs> it's still stupid. Um, yeah, mullets. Uh, let's see. Handsome men. Uh, well, it's funny because uh, I do have a distinct type, and I had a couple of friends when, let's say, they would meet a new boyfriend, they said, he looks just like the last guy. I'm like, I know. Um, so, yeah, uh, there's something to it for sure. It's not that I'm trying to duplicate, like, a carbon copy the last guy, like, oh, I have to have him again. Like, there's something special about him as an individual other than just that look, okay? Uh, um, but it's not like I have the, like some, uh, let's say, boyfriend from my past that I pine for and I'm trying to duplicate him uh, through getting a carbon copy. And it's more to do with the fact that I am biologically programmed and hardwired to be wildly sexually attractive to people with a Roman nose, okay? It's just how it is. Um, when, when it comes to fetishes like this, though, and what makes it a fetish is if it's not there, well, something else isn't there for me. So a fetish can get in the way and limit our dating options, you know, but this is just how it is. So let's see, other sexy men to me. Well, I, I see attractive men all the time who, you know, I can I can see they're handsome and everything's all put together nice, but not necessarily have a sexual response to that man. Rather than the man who is my type and I do a double take, like what do we have here? And then I got all weird. See, normally, I'm this confident person and self-assured and, you know, I don't have social anxieties. I've done public speaking and whatever and um, led some important meetings for specific things. But uh, when it comes to the guy, if I'm, like, like, really sexually attracted to him, like, it seems like I go all weird and gaga and, like that confidence goes out the window and uh, it's just weird and then that can stand in the way of me meeting a man I'm attracted to because then I'm less likely to approach him and I get all shy and it's like I'm a different person and see it's so rare I find someone I'm sexually attracted to that 
it just doesn't happen a lot for me. So then when the rare opportunity happens where I cross paths with someone I'm sexually attracted to, the opportunity just might pass me by because I got all weird and shy and I didn't know what to say or it's just weird like with any other person doesn't matter I'm just like very like outgoing and talkative and don't I have a hard time finding um, an icebreaker to meet people and make new friends you know so yeah, there is something with that sexual attraction thing that does something. But see, I need to work on that and um, make myself more approachable because I think I look disinterested when I'm actually interested in a man because I go all weird and shy and then I don't want to appear like I'm gawking or staring so I might like pay kind of less attention to him. It's weird, like it's all like fucked up wiring in a way because it's counterintuitive and it's self-defeating. So in that way, I'm maybe a freak of nature, you know? Uh, yeah. Uh, and that's also a good part of why I'm single, okay? There are suitors, and yes, there are men interested in me, but, you know, I'm, like, not feeling it. And like I said, it's very rare I find someone I'm sexually attracted to. But let me think of... Like some other famous people that I think are very, very handsome. I'm trying to just think back to, let's say, um, pretty much bands and actors. Uh, I pretty much hit the primary ones. Um, oh, well, Marlon Brando. I don't think I mentioned him before, but he, now, he deserves a mention. Okay, he's right up there with De Niro. Like, that's like, god damn, like, I'm sure I would get all weird being around a man like that. Uh, yeah, I'd get all girly again, like I'm a little teenage schoolgirl, <laughs> right? It's funny how we don't lose some of that, no matter how old we get, because, well, I'm no spring chicken. Um, well, I'm pushing 50, actually, uh, um, sexy, attractive men, like, in cinema. Let's see. Well, um, there was that guy on General Hospital back in the early 90s. I can't remember his name, but again, you know, you could just pair him up with Marlon Brando, like he's Brando's son or something, okay? He's got that look. Um, yeah, and that slick back hair, that classic cut. Oh, yeah. Then you can really see that face. But then again, you know, you got that Rob Zombie thing going with that messy hair all over the place, kind of dreaded up and in the face, and I don't mind that either. And I kind of like that spooky quality. I have noticed there is a pattern with uh, the eyes, that deep set eyes are very sexy to me, and they're kind of mysterious, and the brow bone like shadows them, so they're all like you can't see them all the time, and there's something about that. Um, let's see. Uh, else is attractive. Like, I'm thinking there's people I'm picturing, but I don't know their names, so I can't tell you, and that's not helpful. But, um, I think you've gotten the idea. You got the idea here. Yeah, but, uh, that, that, um, striking Roman nose is just absolutely an exquisite work of art of the human anatomy. Okay, and those deep set mysterious eyes with those beautiful full eyebrows. You got a unibrow, not a problem. If you got two brows, that's okay. I just hope they're kind of close together. It starts looking a little weird when that space starts going like that. I hate all the metrosexualizing. They're tweezing, they're plucking, they're shaving. It's just like, oh God, men, stop feminizing, you're making yourself uglier, I think they look better, uh, let's see, sexy men, um, well, there are some people I've seen locally, you know, like, just kind of go by and you do a double take. They're not famous, but they sure made me look twice and they could easily be famous. 
The camera loves them, I'm sure, I'm sure. Okay, so I hope I uh, answered the question about giving some clear examples of what my type is. Okay, so what more can I really say? Again, you know, you can just duplicate that look over and over and I'm going to look twice. See, I should just fucking move to Europe. I would have way better luck, I think. Um, yeah. Also, uh, there was this place I was interested in living. I was uh, researching and it's like all these handsome men were like... They just kept cropping up over and over, right? And I was like, oh, God, I should move there. Like, I hardly ever see men I'm attracted to, but here I am looking at this place, and all the men there are, like, really fucking sexy. Like, yes, I'm moving there. Um, yeah. I, uh, saw some photos of these Hungarian men. Yeah, but of course they can all vary. You know, you you know, they're not all created the same, but there was just kind of like that dark, mysterious eyes, you know, and, uh, and they're like, you know, they're in all that cool, like, gypsy stuff and Balkan music, right? Well, speaking of Balkan music, okay, a handsome man is a band. They're from Serbia, and it's like Balkan style, what I would call kind of gypsy music, and they're called Bazaar Bazaar, like Bizar Bazaar, like B I Zar and B A Zar, Bizar Bazaar, and there's this song called Axe in the Honey, or Axe in Honey. Check that out. That singer, he's really handsome. I do him, but the thing is, he already, he already has a girlfriend, and it's a fucking sheep. Look the video up, and you'll see what I'm talking about, right? It's really, like, bizarre, bizarre. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Axe and the honey. Uh, but, yeah, he's a handsome man, and, uh, yeah, and then the, uh, that accordion in the song really, really makes it, and it's got these kind of what feels like kind of the Arabic influences, and you'll like feel the Balkan thing going, and yeah, and that's a sexy man right there. I really like that uh, receding hairline, it's really cool looking too, with the slick back hair, but yeah, again, if he didn't already have that sheep girlfriend, I would do him, but like I said, I'm not a homewrecker. I think they had a falling out though, like he cheated on her or something, and then she uh, wasn't having anything to do with him, and the last I heard he was trying to win her back. But check out the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. Axe and honey. Yep. Okay, well, that's that, and um, that's my video on famous men, I think are devilishly sexy. Um, one last guy, he kind of is an oddball of the bunch because he's not stereotypically my type, but Gary Oldman. There's just something about that man. That is a good looking man. Another guy, Sean Penn, that's another sexy man to me. Um, I thought I couldn't really name any more people, but it's coming to me, right? But, uh, okay, we'll just wind it down. Oh, the Karate Kid, Ralph Macchio, or is it Macchio? Oh, forgive me, my Italian's not so great. Um, but fuck, yeah, I had a huge crush on him, man. When that movie came out back in the day, in the 80s, I was like, ooh, I want a boyfriend like that. That guy's handsome. Yes, he is. I should Google him. Let's see how Father of Time is being to him. I bet he's still sexy as fuck. Um, who else? Satan. <laughs> see, I always portray him with that Roman nose, so... God. God, he has a sick sense of humor. You know. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. But 
you know, yeah, yeah, they do the guys I'm attracted to. Some friends have told me they look kind of evil sometimes or demonic. So there is that quality, you know. Um, God, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'm not in the hood feet or tails and things like that, you know, uh, but maybe I could live with a horn or two. You can't really tell right now, but um, my horns are holding up my halo. They're just invisible. I got little double horns and doubles little helper, okay? So, um, I don't mind that. Lucifer look? Yeah, definitely they have portrayed that very dominant Roman nose with the strong brow and the deep set eyes with kind of more an ominous evil look. Uh, a great example, just look up anything with Rob Zombie, okay? You're gonna see what I'm talking about. So, yeah. But, I think it's very handsome. I would do him. I would do him. I would do Satan. I mean, he sounds a lot more fun than God anyway. Um, you know. Let's see. Who else? Uh, so, Lucifer made my list. There you go. You wanted to know. Famous people. Okay. I guess we could go ahead and include Krampus in there as well. Uh, um, they're like twins separated at birth. Um, who else? Uh, okay, I'm losing steam again, so I'll just say goodbye. And, um, yes, long live Roman noses, unibrows, deep set eyes and skinny dudes. Love them.